a tennis fit where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, I got a new, new toy. I'll show you how to use it in a second. Stay tuned. I'm a little older now my kneecap hurts so I like to go right in front into that kneecap here just to kind of loosen it up right around that kneecap so for those of you who have tight kneecaps right this thing is wonderful for it so I go all around the kneecap just to break up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Into that scar tissue, right? See? That's not scar tissue, that's bone. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Don't worry, buddy. I got you. Okay. So, there you go. We'll, we'll, we'll keep you in the front part that's a little softer. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Feel that, baby. All right. So, knock out the sides. All right, man. Let's get with the knee. <laughs> Go. That's good, man. Okay. Okay. So we just worked out the IT band into the kneecap, right, to loosen it and warm it all up. No, oh, this thing's still going. You gotta hold it. Oh, I gotta hold it. Okay. All right. So that's what I usually do. And then I usually go into the shoulders a bit, especially right here where the uh, rotator cuff is into the front and then a little bit of the back shoulder. So I'm gonna jack it up again. And we're gonna go basically right there, right into the center of the shoulder. I'm gonna do little circles all around just to warm that up. So go to the outer edge and then come back down, right? You, you do this to yourself. It's actually not, not hard. All right? And then after that, I go to this front, like that. Rotate the cuff. Yeah. So this part is, when you take too many forehands early, 
right? On the other side, too many forehands late, you feel it right in this front part. So it's good to loosen that up, okay? So right in that front part of the shoulder. And I like to kind of come around it a bit. That's gonna hurt a bit, because Coach Chris here is kind of bony. So, and then we hit the back part of the shoulder right here. So this one you might need a little help on back here. Right? Right, like that. Like, gotta work it out, see? Coach Chris is kind of stiff on this left side here, so I'm That's break, bone, man. breaking it. <laughs> break, I'm breaking up the bone here for you, buddy. Oh. It's it's kind of okay, and then kind of work right here a bit at the top. <laughs> it's all bone, man. <laughs> oh. Coach Chris is a little bony, oh. but yeah. So work work out the side of the shoulder here into the front roll into the top into the back and then hit that part up too that way you warm up that shoulder um, coach chris actually taught me something today about doing forearm and that's what he's going to do to me now um, which extension are we going to use so i i like using something that a bit softer um, when I'm doing it, but so something can, like that. Yeah. If uh, Harry's, let's just say Harry's forearm is feeling a little tighter, right? Um, I might use something a little bit with a bit firmer. So I'll just pop that into as well. That's actually pretty soft. This is no, no, it's actually firmer. You're right. He's gonna understand. You're right. You're right. What this feels like now. He understands the pain here. Yeah. Exactly. So I'll crank it up to the top setting right here, right? Rev it up. And so I'll just have his forearm kind of like this. Nope. Up here. Like this. Good. And so what I feel when I'm playing tennis is a lot here, that's pretty tight, and then I'll go around working around it too. But for, for the most part, I'll just start here too as well. Ooh, so uh, you can already ooh. see, right? Ah, ah, damn it. Oh, damn it hurts. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. So I really want to kind of increase ah. and then lighten. Oh, so, God. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so my kind God. Of go oh, in Lord. And around that too as well. And maybe even get the hand too a bit because your hand has been Ooh, holding. The hand feels good though. Right? I the racket to a lot too as well. Yeah. So maybe get the, and he's strung a lot of rackets too as well. Yeah, the Maybe good. like work on that too, the outside of edges. And then going back into the forearm Ooh. and then, yeah, exactly. Forearm and then around. Good, and then you can just turn over your arm. Turn like this. Perfect. So I'll just kind of go right here on the muscle Ooh. a little bit more. That actually feels way better. Yeah, I so think. he's a little bit tighter on, on, on the uh, inside of the forearm. But that's okay. Now, hopefully, this egg to weight will loosen it a little bit more. Ooh. So here, right here, Ooh. Ooh. yeah, and then a little bit to the outside too, as well helps too. Outside. That's it. Yeah, that feels good Keep too, working. right there. Ooh, I feel that one. Keep working on that. That's it. Those are kind of the muscle groups that you kind of want to target on your forearm. Wow, that's yeah. good. Do you ever work on the bicep or the bicep, let's say the tendons that go through? Do you ever do that? Sometimes if my arm is, if after, you know, playing a lot of tennis, if my arm, if I do feel like it's, I'm overusing it and my whole arm might need to be worked on a bit more, then I'll, I will start from the shoulder, work kind of on um, just my bicep and tricep too as well. But very rarely have I had that kind of soreness there. It's really, I mostly probably get it if I'm doing something, if I'm lifting a little bit more in the gym, that's probably when I'll feel the soreness of it more. But in the tennis, you don't really, as you're swinging in a racket, you're not really being that tight, right? As you're swinging, you're actually being really loose through your shot. So you shouldn't really have to flex. More, probably more in the tricep, but not in the bicep there. What about, so when I played last, I, I kind of maybe out overdid it. And I sore here, right? You and then I was sore here. Yes. So, do we just, what do we take for that one? Yeah, so for that one. Um, so I'm, I'm talking about here and then up here. Yeah, so it looks like his hip flexors and probably the lower part of his quads are, are the most sore. So, it really depends on, right, if you want to be have something a little bit more firm. Or something a little bit softer. I would, I would for him. I'd go probably a little bit more firm, knowing that he doesn't really stretch as much. I don't stretch at all. Yeah, exactly. So right off the bat, I'll probably just go to the top setting again, and I'll have your leg just kind of 
Uh, here. Yeah, exactly. All right, so right, you still have to make sure that your kind of your legs out a little bit more. It works too if your legs are elevated. But what I would do is just kind of work on starting a little bit, knee, just kneading it a little bit more, mm. um, and then making sure you kind of go around it. So start the more sensitive part, and then kind of loosen uh, and not be not be pressing against the muscle too much. So tighten it here. And then relax around it. So just like kind of working around that. Yeah. And then around it. So it's probably one of the more sensitive parts, right? For a tennis player, it's just probably the, the inside, inside both sides, actually. Inner. Yeah. This one not so much as this. This one's more sensitive for some yeah. reason. For some reason this one's yeah, more one, see you see how you just one, jumped there? Just, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then you were saying from my hip pluck. Flexors, flexors, hip flexors, flexors, flexors. Yeah. So as a tennis player, you're always kind of, um, you know, um, doing a lot of explosive movement, a lot of um, um, split stepping and pushing off. So that requires a lot of use up here, which is your hip flexors. So um, sometimes people have that that's pretty tight, and you would roll on it with a um, foam roller foam roller or if you have like a golf ball or a uh, lacrosse ball getting yourself into that position or lying down on top of it and rolling on it would that, help too but since hurts. we have ached away <laughs> that helps a little bit it's a little bit easier to get into it so i would crank it up to the highest setting again let's go up yeah here. full blast here full blast. where am i hitting do you want to hit kind of oh lord you're already right feeling, there. exactly just there right. just kind of working around the outside and then inside Right, the kind of external and then internal of, of so your So it's hip like flexion. the hip bone here. Yeah, it kind of all connects. Yeah, absolutely. Just all around it. Yep. Ooh, I feel it right into the IT band almost. Into the IT, it's all connected. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. This ache the way is actually way better than the other one. It's just smoother. Yeah. Huh? Huh? I definitely feel the same way. This using this ache the way, the regular version. It doesn't skip as much, and I think that the the massage is a lot. It's a lot uh, of a smoother um, um, go around versus kind of the pro. So yeah, this one it's 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 really really smooth. It doesn't hurt at all, um, unlike the other one. The other one's just beating us up. Um, so what about my lower back? This is the last thing I like to work on is my lower back. Okay. So, what about that field goal thing here, as I call it, the fork? Yeah, so again, I mean, I don't use that one myself too much. I actually use it more for my feet and my calves. Oh, the fork for the calves? No, 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 oh. for the fork, I don't really use that tool in oh. general. I use more of the AQA for my calves and my Achilles and my feet. Oh. Because I'm on my feet a lot, so that's kind of what I use it so for. So you don't use anything on your back? Not too much on my back. In really? particular, I, I just, if I wanted to use my back, <laughs> no, I don't use that for my back. I don't use be, that for your back? That, <laughs> that'd be a little use bit. Use that for something on your back. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, but I use something a little bit uh, softer and I kind of just work around the paris, uh, paraspinal muscle. Okay, well, let's, let's, since you like, since I have a little bit of problems down my, my leg down here. Okay. Uh, which one do we use here? Perfect. Um, I wouldn't use any of those. I would use probably a softer one, actually. You see, so since he's since he says he can handle the pain, I'll I'll go a little bit firmer for him. So oh, we just love that mic, don't we? <laughs> okay. So so how should I? So here too as well. Like yeah, absolutely. I think that'd be great too as well. And I'll just kind of go All right. Calf. Oh Lord. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> calf in it. So as you can see, Ari spends a lot of his time on his legs eh? or Woo! on his feet. So it's really important, I think, at the end of the day or before is to get this kind of worked on a bit more so it's not as tight. So you can stay loose and limber, you know, on the court and when he's stringing rackets. You're really going out to the outside and just kind of following the muscle around too as well. All the way from here. <laughs> and then down. Good, perfect. So, and then what I like to do is, right, I work the inner calf too as well. So, I can't really get the it. inner, like here. Yeah. So, there. Yeah, that's good. 
Ooh, damn it, sensitive there. Yeah. Real sensitive That's there. Because he doesn't stretch as much. So, working and kneading it is really good. You know, guys, check it out. Um, you guys know I get stretched at the stretch lab, and I get cupping, massage, and all this stuff that I do. Um, the guys always try to tell me. Uh, my buddy uh, Brian over at the stretch lab, he's like, I'm going to give you some exercises uh, to do at home and to do at the gym and then, uh, you know, all this stuff. But, I, and then, yeah, let me talk to you guys for a minute here. <laughs> Show me. Okay. I say, Brian, Brian, check it out, Brian. Look here. If you ain't stretching me out and I ain't at this lab here, I probably ain't going to do it. Okay? <laughs> That's just the plain truth. Okay? Leo, who's my uh, massage therapist guy, he goes, hey, you know, I got to wait for you to stretch at home. And I was like, look here, Leo. You know, I, I just want to be massaged. And uh, if you expect me to do it at home, that probably ain't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So this gun is about as far as I go. Okay? So so just I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. At least I'm truth I'm truthful about it to myself. I'm truthful about it to those guys. And I'm truthful about it to you. Because I know you guys are the same way as I am. You ain't gonna get it done. Okay? Alright, let's go back to me. <laughs> yeah, so just working on the calves and then the Achilles heel and then even on the foot too as well. That's what I would do. So, for your foot, you can actually uh, cross your feet or cross your leg up on top so that's on your quads, get into your feet too as well, your Achilles, and that's it. If you do that every day, it's gonna, oh, it's gonna loosen help. up. Yeah. Absolutely. What about, what about um, one of the last things is, um, what do you call that thing that goes from your butt down to your legs, that, that one band you, that tightens up once in a while? Your hamstring? Hamstring. Does this thing help with your hamstring? <laughs> I'm thinking about ham and cheese with yeah, hamstring. Hamstring? Yeah. Yeah, it, de it definitely helps too as well. What I like to do is I kind of like to um, stand up for this one. So I have my leg up. I already feel like I'm stretching my hamstring already like this. All right, and then I'll just start working my hamstring from back here. And I can go a bit further up, closer to the glutes, and then working my way closer down here. All right, all the way down. So up here, and then all the way kind of working around that area. And that should loosen up tremendously too as well. But making sure that here I'm already stretching my hamstring too as well. If I need, a, if I need to stretch it a little bit higher up, I can. I can just lift up a bench or a table and just kind of make sure that I I get the right leverage, um, but making sure I stay in the stretch and then start um, massaging it that way. Okay, so the la have a seat. Last thing is, and, oh, and I love using this for my feet. Okay. I have, I mean, I have flat feet, um, as you guys can see, right? I was just born with it, so my feet are the always tired. Oh yeah. My feet are always tired because I'm standing all day long, right? So that thing helps when I massage it around my arches. Look at his feet. So, yeah, look at my feet. <laughs> so, so I'm constantly battling, you know, my, my heels hurting, the front of my feet hurting. So this thing is a savior for me um, when I massage, like, my arches, right, my heels. Mm -hmm. And, and it's a, uh, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that from you. Go for it. And then, and I'll show you what I do. Again, we jack, like, like Chris and I love to jack it up all the way. And then I, I start from the heel and just kind of go down into my arch, into the front. You see me shaking there? Ooh. That feels, ah! <laughs> Feels really good. Woo, right there. See? This is kind of a free foot massage for you guys. Okay? Like just leave it right at the front of that arch. Ooh, see me shaking there? Ooh, I'm shaking, man. I'm shaking, dude. I put it at the back of the arch for those for those guys who have plantar, plantar fasciitis, right? Like move it around to the outer edge, back to the inner. 
like break up that scar tissue all right it's like a free free foot massage for you man that feels actually pretty good there you go. I'm gonna stick this up Chris's nose right now. <laughs> nope. Uh, 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 uh. Definitely no one. All right. Okay. So, oops. I keep forgetting to do that. So, guys, that's the new Ake the Way, the non pro model that we just got to mess with. Like Ake the Way that I've been using for a month and a half. Um, Coach Chris and I have been kind of. Um, messing with it for the last couple days and we're actually very impressed by it. Mm -hmm. I would definitely uh, recommend getting this one. The regular version. The regular sure. version. Absolutely. Yeah, this new, it's, I'm, it seems new and improved to me. It does. But it's got that cool green light on the bottom. Uh, the price point's kind of right there with everything else. Uh, we'll put a link to the bottom as to where you can get one of these. But let's see what's coming up here. We got Mother's Day coming up here. We got Father's Day coming up here. I think this would be a great gift for either one of those days. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the Ake the Way by Ake the Way, the non-pro version. I want to thank my man, Coach Chris, for hanging out with me today uh, and playing with this. Where can we find you, Chris? CB Chan Tennis. All right. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your